Ready to go? Well, Alan Babic, what a night, what a fight. Double congratulations to you, first of all, on the victory and, of course, the engagement and the amazing scenes that followed after. You told us this week that it would be ruthless. You said it would be devastating. Describe that because that fight was absolute carnage. Well, listen, I wanted to punish him. I wanted to punish him so bad and not even say hello after it. You know, I was like, you didn't respect me. Now I'm not going to respect you. Alan is not going to respect you. But that guy took, Eddie just told me 600 punches in five rounds. And I don't throw easy punches. All of those punches were meant to KO him. And I think I always, all, again, broke my knuckles because I did. Just like a Tom Little fight. I thought this guy is not as tough as Tom Little. He's not tough as Kennedy, but he's much tougher than both of them. And uh, congratulations to him. But there was, on the other side, no way in hell I would lose this fight. You saw that. There was no way in hell. He didn't hurt me not one time. And I could do this for another 16 rounds. Everybody knows that for now. So you saw how big Savage Tank is. 600 punches in five rounds. So multiply that, that by 10 rounds and you get 1,000 punches. So if you can survive that, I don't need the judges. F the judges, you know. Well, as you say, that's the first time you've been past three rounds in your professional career, heading in to the, the deeper waters, I suppose, of an eight-round bout. <laughs> but Mark, Mark Bennett, as you say, you gave away an obscene amount of weight heading into this fight, but you, you say you weren't hurt at all in that fight because he did have success. Like I told you, I'm in it for the little guys. I'm a little guy. That guy weighed more than 30 kilos because I dropped down very quick. I come into the camp with 99 kilos. Now I'm about 92 kilos. Put me on a weight. And you're going to see, put him on a scale. I'm 92 kilos, I think, 92 and a half, maybe even 91 and a half, because that's my weight. But you see how I do with these big guys. He didn't hurt me not a single time. One time he caught me on the top of my head, but it was not near, near uh, hurting or something. But I hurt him like literally, literally 80 times. And <laughs> the guy went through it like a big champion. You know, I don't see a lot of guys stopping. He had only one fight loss, and he didn't, wasn't stopped. So I was the first guy, and probably the only one who's going to stop him. Eight fights, eight KOs. You said it was. Say it again. <laughs> eight fights, yes, eight KOs. Yes. You said it was last year at Fight Camp that the Savage was born. Over the last 12 months, what a journey you have been on with regards to your in the ring experience. And it's, it's just been an amazing road, and you're loving every minute, aren't you? I love it every minute. You know? I love all the. Because now I'm, I'm on, that, uh, on that level that only on fight day I get nervous. Only on this day. So yesterday I was a little nervous because he punched my fucking face. I was, I was mad, I won't lie, but I'll say two days. And before, when I fought Chandel Winters, it was two weeks of nervousness. And I was like, I'm not going to be able to do that. Two weeks of nervousness. I lost 12 kilos in two weeks that, that time. So now it was only two days. And by the time when I passed 10 fights, it's not going to be no nervousness. So you can put me in with a King Kong and I'm going to get on top. This was the David, David versus the Goliath fight. And you saw what David did, you know. And I didn't even have a sword. If I had a sword, it would be over quickly. Now, let's come on to talk about the scenes that followed the fight tonight, oh. the engagement. Oh. A lot of planning went into this. Lady Savage said, yes, you must be very happy that that was the case. Oh. Bearing in mind, there was millions of people watching around the world tonight live on TV. Yeah, like I said, it takes guts to do that, you know, because all of them can say shit now and stay stuff away. Right? But I wanted to do it because of her, because she's a special lady to me, you know. I met her when she was only 17 years old and she changed my whole life, you know, and I just... She stuck up with me for the five years, and I was a bad boy sometimes, you know. I did a lot of bouncer work, a lot of those girls were around me and stuff, but she knew I had a good heart, you know, although I didn't, I didn't always deserve her, you know, but that's why I said I want to I wanna make her my wife, and I really want to do that, and I want that to be on the camera. So I can't do it the second time, you know. I want everybody to sue me if I do it the second time. I don't care, you know, because this is the wife, this is the, life, the wife and the life I want to have for the rest of my days. You know, I really want that. I was always a hopeless romantic, you could say that, always in the bad relationship and stuff, but I never wanted those fast. She's, 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 all, she's all I got, you know. All of this is for you guys. This is for me, you know, this is for Alan. Savage has nothing to do with it. Savage just goes away. I'm just Alan now. There's no Savage whatsoever. That's why I don't have any strength. I, I, I'm supposed to pick her up and carry her, but she's a big guy, girl and I don't have any strength. I'm kidding, but she's, she's all I have, really. No, at the end of the day, Eddie doesn't pay me that much. So I don't have that much money, but when I look at her, I have all the world because I think she's the most beautiful girl. Should we bring yeah, so. Clara? Can we bring you in? Come, Clara, if you can. <laughs> <laughs> look at her, look at my, my beautiful girl, you know. Lady Savage, um, tell us how you're feeling. You've had a little bit of time to process what's just happened. A very yeah, special night for you both. I actually really don't know what, uh, what happened right now. Um, 
probably later I, I'll realize what what just happened. But right now I just I just feel overwhelmed with joy and proud and and happiness really because <laughs> you like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I just I'm just so happy. I I, I can't ex even describe. You know. I would never do this for a girl that I'm not hundred percent certain because I didn't know she's gonna say yes. I th they told me, do, did you tell? No, I didn't. I went all guts because yeah, I, I think I'm gonna kill all all, all his mates, you know, <laughs> because uh, now Marco told me that you that you knew that you planned for this for about one month, and I I didn't even, you know. Yeah. It was perfectly planned yeah. by me. <laughs> no, yeah, 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 this yeah. is the guy. You're the guy who did all with me. So <laughs> I now, just want to say thank you to all the matchroom. You have just become my family, and Eddie Hearn and everything. Like I said, it's not because of the money. I don't get paid much. Yeah. I just fight for the people, but this is for me. You know, this is the kind of stuff that brings me all back to me. You know, and I love it. I love you. I love you all for it. And Clara, we know Alan, of course, as being the savage in fight week. He talks about when he's at home, he likes photography and spending time with you. Yeah. What is he like at home, away from the cameras? Well, you should come to Croatia <laughs> and find out. Uh, you're invited, absolutely. Uh, but uh, privately, he's just uh, such a you know, teddy bear, such a softy. And uh, I love him for that because I've known him for uh, since he was not the savage, you know. <laughs> he was just Alan. And... Um, I met him when he didn't have much, but he had he had it all for me, you know. And it didn't change until this day. He's still for me that guy that I met on the first day, you know. And I'm still we just talked about it today, and I still okay. didn't <laughs> thought that this gonna happen. But we talked about it. We still feel like we felt on the first day, and that's how I know that's that he's my guy, you know. <laughs> that he he's my man. No, she's much better than me. I'm a little bit older. I'm 30 years and. I'm not perfect, I know that, you know, I'm not, I know I'm not perfect, but I know I can provide for her everything she needs in her whole life, and I can give her the love always, you know, I can leave all of this boxing behind, I can leave all of the money behind, I, I'm not in it for the money, yeah. we can go and live in a forest, I know she will, she will follow me, that's why I did this today. You know. And Alan, in terms of your career, what's next, whatever comes your way, you'll take anyone on? <laughs> I hope Nick Webb doesn't beat Fabio Wally, if he does by any chance, then I have my next plan, but other than that, I don't have a victim, you know. I can't even think about it right now. I want to just spend time with my, my future wife, you know. Absolutely. Clara, Alan, Savage, Lady Savage, massive congratulations to thank you both. You. Thank you very much thank for your time tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Bye-bye.